All right, well, this thing is frozen. It's still not responding, so I'm gonna have to cancel it here and close it out. I hope I don't lose too much. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yep, it didn't save anything I did. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. Here's a sketch that I made, and now what we're gonna do is just turn it into a house. All right, so here we have my basic plan, and this is gonna help me make the rest of the house. This is what it looks like extruded. So I've modified this volume here a bit, made it shorter. And now I'm working on the front portion of the house, starting with the steps. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. And now I'm adding a carport that's gonna be partially underground. All right, so here's our carport with steps leading up to the front. And we've worked on the pool a little bit as well. Now I've added a little roof overhead and now it's getting kind of difficult to see what's going on so i'm going to start to add layers in a little bit i've created a double skin um, the backyard looks like this you have some steps that lead down to this patio area which is probably going to be a garden and here we have a pool that follows the profile of this volume and intersects with the profile of this volume um, there's probably going to be a lake or something here maybe the water of the lake rises up to here i don't know it's part of the fun so i've made the first cut in the skin there we go yep this is not responding and i don't think i saved unfortunately so let's just go back to pinterest and keep looking for um inspiration in the meantime because that is not looking good all right well this thing is frozen it's still not responding so i'm gonna have to cancel it here and close it out i hope i don't lose too much oh this is not good this is not good. Yep, it didn't save anything I did. <laughs> this is horrible, man. That's why you guys gotta save. All right, so now we gotta do that all over again, unfortunately, so I had created this. Let's just redo this whole thing. Man, it really stinks when that happens. All right, I think I'm officially done here again. Sure, I'll allow the access. Yeah, sure, have, have all the access you want. Just take it, take all of it. Before I start going crazy with materials, let's see what it looks like at night. Well, it'd help if we add the ground, right? Cool, so there's our ground, but let's just make this daytime for now. And let's start to bring this up a little bit. Yeah, just gonna sit here and make this landscape disappear a little bit. That's really looking pretty cool. I feel like an archeologist trying to uncover this building from the ground. Okay, so that's the overall ground. It's not finished yet. <laughs> it's not even started, but now I can actually see the house, so. Um, let's add some materials and then we'll work on the landscape after. So first we'll do the easy stuff, the glass. Next we're gonna add a material to the floor. And for now we'll just, we're just gonna do some sort of concrete or... Um, let's try this one, the swept concrete. That's too much. I just wanna say that I love the way that this area is looking right here. It's not super apparent because it's kind of dark. Now I'm adding the light, so this is like a neon material that you added to a layer. And it makes it light up, so it's pretty cool. Yep. This is that space that I'm not gonna render, but just so you can see it. Let's get a little sneak peek at the nighttime render, see what it looks like. I feel like for some reason it's it's really lit up. That's what we get after. Yeah, it's coming along nice. Check that out. Actually, I didn't want it to be metal, but uh, it's just some, something I really do enjoy about metal as a skin. Could be wood, but um, I think wood would be a super cool accent to give it, depending on the background, depending what's going on. I like metal. I forgot what it's called, but it's like it's it's like translucent plastic. Let's see if they have it here. Styrofoam, though. No. If I see the name, I'll I'll tell you what it is. It's none of these. Maybe it's under plastic. The heck is that? Oh, dude, that looks that looks pretty nasty. It's cool. It looks like alabaster, but <laughs> it's so. <laughs> oh man, that's I don't know. I kind of like it to tell you the truth, but I'm not gonna leave it for this example. But I do like it. No. The scale's out of whack, that's okay. I'm not really loving the idea of metal, to tell you the truth. I love quartz and steel. I don't get why it, all of them are at a different scale. It drives me insane. I'm not gonna lie, it looks cool. See, this one's, the scale's just coming out. Super wacky. Honeycomb. Does it not let me make this transparent? That's a bummer. That's a bummer because that would have been a pretty cool uh, material to mess around with, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't let me make it transparent and that's kind of what I want. I 
I wasn't too happy with any of the other, uh, any of the other options that I had in my mind, and so this is what I ended up going with, which is some galvanized steel, weathered. Okay, no. Yeah, I want to increase the bump on that. I don't know, I'm not 100% sold on it. This is the uh, Luco Bond. I like how it looks up close, like, but um, overall, I'm, I'm not too happy with it. So I've opened up this wooden panel and see if there's anything I can choose from here that'll, that'll interest me more. See, I think that's way more interesting. Now, should it be darker or lighter? See, that's darker. Uh, Maybe not lighter. Maybe I had the, the right one already. <laughs> no way. Not at all. Oh, look at that. Actually, <laughs> no. Cool material, but no, no, no. No, I think I made the, the right choice with this first one here. 45 degrees? 90 degrees? Believe it or not, no. I, I actually like the way that it was before. Without the rotation. There we go. That's way nicer. Yeah, this is what it's looking like at night, so I'm happy with the results so far. Time to sculpt this landscape now. Planting some trees here now. The landscape is coming along. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these bushes here, but we'll leave them now. They might stay, they might not. All right, before I do any more work than I have to, let's set up some views. It looks pretty interesting in plan. All right, so I've made it raining, I've added a little bit of fog on the sides, and I've made it windy. Even though you're not gonna see the wind, but hopefully the camera captures some of that wind movement in the trees. All right, so I think this is our money shot, and I've lined up the camera with the steps that lead up to the main entrance, and I've placed some cars here, but I feel like I don't want them to be too distracting, so I'm gonna make them dark colors. Now we gotta add some residue over here, some trees, uh, some tree leaves, and anything else I could find that can make the scene really look like there's a storm going on. Now let's try to put a, a jet in the middle of the air flying. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Not what I wanted. <laughs> there goes my house. Dude, I never noticed before, but they have a pigeon here and it's called Mitchell. <laughs> what? <laughs> So many questions, Twin Motion. Why do you have a pigeon called Mitchell? <laughs> but uh, you know, we got we got to put a pigeon in here, so we'll put him in the um, we'll put him in the basement. Not okay. We'll put him here in the garage, and he's taking cover. Ah, uh, he can't go in the car. Okay. Well, we'll place him right here, and we'll give him a friend. What's going on? Okay, there we go. There. Sorry, guys. You are too in the way right now. So let's move you over here. Let's move you over here, buddy. Okay, there we go, nice. Now let's look for our second money shot. So we got this one here, and let's duplicate this one so all the settings stay the same. All right, I think I like this as my second shot, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it, and I'm gonna work on it a little bit to make this my second shot. But, um, oh, that's actually a pretty cool shot right there. I think I'm gonna save that one too. Um, but yeah, overall, this is the end of the video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I hope you like the design. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the design. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why do you love it? Why do you hate it? Any suggestions? I love hearing suggestions from you guys. And uh, anything else that you could think of. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Mooch and this is Pigeonhead Architecture. See you down in the comments.